answers so much about our history and cultural identity. And of course, it goes without saying, it can be appreciated on so many levels. And so the looting of art during the Nazi regime in the Second World War has had a profound impact, as an audience found out at the London Jewish Cultural Centre. The event featured a discussion with David Glasser, chief executive of the Ben Uri Gallery, and art lawyer Howard Spiegler, who has been involved in several litigations. They say that 20% of all the paintings in Europe at the time were looted by the Nazis. It was a wholesale criminal activity and designed to do two things, one or three things. One was based on greed. Uh, the second element was that there was a financial element to it. And the third element was, of course, that it, if you remove the cultural heritage of a people, then you remove their history, you remove their platform for future growth. Probably the first 30 years after the war ended in 1945, most Holocaust victims uh, who survived and their children of, of victims simply couldn't talk about it. The focus of the world on Nazi looting really was uh, rekindled in the mid-90s, which of course was several decades after the actual looting occurred. And I think it's, it's a result of a combination of factors. Um, one is that uh, the advent of the internet which uh, allowed for the first time uh, images of artworks to be widely distributed, uh, as well as the end of the Cold War, which opened up archives uh, not only in the United States, but in the former Soviet Union. Howard and his colleagues have worked on several cases, including the recovery of the portrait of Vali by Egon Schiele, which was taken from the Leah Bondi family by the Nazis. And she saw the painting exhibited in England, but because it was, uh, because English law was different from American law, um, nobody could do anything about trying to get the painting back until, by chance, it got um, sent by the Leopold Foundation. And the Customs Service of the United States, which is now Homeland Security, sees the, the uh, volley and then they brought an action and we worked with them uh, over 10 years uh, in an attempt to get it returned to the family. At the end of the event, many thanked Howard and David personally, as it is a topic of huge importance in the Jewish community. And as you can see from the number of people who are here and also by the questions that were asked, that it's still a very live and relevant and a really important thing that we, are, we, we can discuss. Despite the financial difficulties many families face in recovering the items, organisations such as the Commission of Looted Art in Europe have helped claimants negotiate directly with the owners of looted works. For the first time in many cases, feel that they've got at least some connection with the members of their family who were wiped out. And in that respect, it performs an enormous uh, service to many people because they feel at least there's something, whereas before there was nothing. At the end of the discussion, attendees were encouraged to research their own family history as claimants continue to come forward and find satisfactory solutions. Many take comfort that works will continue to be reclaimed and that a legacy for families will be left behind. This is Celestina Ololode for JN1 in London.